card. I am super excited to make this adorable sunflower card with you. So this, um, this card was actually inspired off of this amazing flower stamp that, come, that just came in. The stamp is actually a slimline stamp, with, and slimline means this size. I need to put something down here. There we go. Sorry, I know it's a paper bag and it's weird, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, so anyways, this is called a slimline card. It fits into a standard like business envelope. I've had some customers mention to me that it's better to mail your items in a business envelope because then if someone is looking to steal your mail, for example, they're not going to see a greeting card that might have money in it, right? They're going to see, oh, it's just a business envelope, no big deal. So that's kind of a sneaky way um, to make a birthday card that's going to be kind of unsuspecting, especially for the recipient. They may be like, oh, it's just a business thing. Oh, no, it's not. It's something magical. So now you know the that, that's kind of the idea, but slimline is just kind of cool because it's a different shape. All right, I'm done chatting. So awesome um, sunflower stamp there, and then we're just going to do some layering here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, um, we're actually going to build the entire thing onto um, this mustard yellow paper, and then we're going to mount it onto the card. So I'm going to get this out of the way, and then we're going to come back to it in just a moment. All right. Okay, first thing we need to do is fussy cut our sunflower. I know it's everyone's most favorite thing ever to do fussy cutting. Um, when I first actually saw the stamp, it is my impression that they, and that Stan Pendis, the people that make this, um, it's my impression that they intended for you um, to make this more fall colors, especially with these little berries and the acorns and the pumpkin and some sort of gourd situation over here. Oh, maybe it's a tomato. That would actually make more sense. Um, but we, I wanted to make this more summery. So what I'm going to do here is I'm cutting out, I'm trimming very carefully around all of these berries. In the area where there's a berry, I'm actually cutting so it looks like it's just the edge of a leaf. You can see what I mean here in just a minute. See how all these little berries are here? And I just trimmed them out. So edge of the berry, edge of a leaf. Okay. Um, so I wanted to make the card look, the sunflower card look more summery. So in order to do that, I wanted the sunflower to look at least a little bit more alive versus like a harvest time um, you know, kind of dark browns and dark reds and kind of um, more, you know, dying harvesty kinds of colors. Um, so, dying leaves, that's kind of more the thought, my thought process there. Um, <laughs> so anyways, making this card just a little bit different. So that's why I'm, I did not color in the acorns or kind of pick traditional fall colors. Um, I decided to go a little bit more vibrant. So that's why I chose the green. And when I was watercoloring this, I decided I wanted to, the, I needed the greens to kind of go in the same color family as this, um, this is the Rustic Wilderness Spray Oxide ink that I used there. And so that ink color is so like luscious and green um, and dark and alive that I really needed the leaves to kind of match that similar kind of feel. So that was my thought process for going with this color palette with the card and with the sunflowers. All right, so once again, we're just cutting out the leaves and I know that these leaves are not all actually sunflower leaves. You may not have even realized this, but I'm pretty sure this one right here is actually an oak leaf. And the pumpkin, um, again, you can try and cut that out. I decided not to bother with it because it didn't really make sense because pumpkins aren't quite ripe this time of summer. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and trim out the pumpkin. And my last little leaf here. I know you guys get to cut with me, isn't that fun? And I'm not being nearly as fussy as I normally should be when and paying attention when I'm doing fussy cuts like this, but that's okay. And yes, I am bypassing all the petals of the flower because I have a way to do that that's much faster. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment as soon as I'm done cutting out this leaf. And there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I'm just going to go in here and go slice, slice, and here, slice, slice. All right. See, this just goes a little bit faster by doing it that way rather than cutting in and then cutting back out. You can just do little quick cuts. And that's why I really like my super fine point scissors for this exact purpose. All right. So now you end up with this. Okay. We need these things. All right. So this is what you have at the moment. It looks kind of lopsided, awkward, you may have realized. So what we're going to do here is we are actually going to cut out 
one of these little leaves here. So I think what I'm going to do is, let's think which one I want to do here. Hold on just a second, you guys. I have to figure out which one it is here that I decided to trim out. This one. So this is the really awkward one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim this out. Okay, so this leaf we're actually going to hold on to and we are going to re-glue it in place over here. So now it looks like a better little leaf grouping and so now we have a heavy side and a lighter side. So that way it's not really awkward like wow there's, I mean they're just like little scraggly. Now it looks like a bushel of little leaves. Isn't that fun how you can change the effect just by doing a little snip and re-glue? Okay. Now, here we go. Let's put our cards together. All right, so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to lay down our, um, our stamped image. So this is a stamp we sprayed on the um, Rustic Wilderness Spray Oxide ink. The ink was really nice and wet, and then we used that stamp and stamped it down on the paper. So you get this really cool, um, not perfectly stamped image, which I really like. And I also like that the movement of this is really similar to, um, and the movement and the shape of this is really similar to the shape of the sunflower print. So that's why I chose these to go together because the, the movement and the theme, oh, it's just, it's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So we're gonna take our spiral image here. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on it or double-sided tape on all four sides. And I'm gonna stick this down. Um, and if you have a swirl um, and it's on one side or the other, um, you wanna keep it more on the bottom side, okay? Because of what we're gonna be adding on on the top. Um, so on the right-hand side, you're gonna stick on the uh, um, stick on the pattern paper so that there, or the swirl design. So there's about an eighth of an inch border on the top right and on the bottom here. Okay, so of the yellow. Now we're going to stick on our sunflower paper. I don't know which direction your sunflowers ended up going. They might be this direction. They might be up and down. Um, I did not cut the sunflowers, so I did not do them all exactly the same. I had Taylor help me. But either way, it doesn't really matter the direction because the effect is still going to be the same. So you're going to put on double-sided tape on all four sides of that guy. And then as you line this up, you'll see one side is a little bit longer than the other. So make sure that you pick the narrow side so that again, you get that even um, border on all three sides of the yellow. So you have even yellow on all four sides now, okay? All right, now we're gonna put double sided tape um, on the top and on the bottom here. You're gonna take your orange ribbon. I guess if you wanted to use the yellow, you can. I liked the orange for this. I'm just gonna stick it to the back side on the double sided tape. Bring it around. This is going to give you nice solid separation between your large print and your small print. And then you're going to stick it around to the back side. So make sure you pull that tight. Apply more double sided tape here. And also on the left and right. Now we're going to mount that onto our slimline card base. Okay. All right. Opens up that direction. We're going to put the green on the far right side and we're going to stick this on. There's going to be about a sixteenth of an inch of white on all four sides, or it's like a white ivory, that color. All right. Okay, now we're gonna stick double-sided tape on the back side where our sunflower is. And that will stick in place perfectly right here. And you can kind of decide, I think I'm gonna leave this kind of open up on the top right because that's where my happy birthday sentiment is gonna go. And you want there to kind of overlap at least a little bit onto both sides, both the left and the right there. And if you want to use pop dots, you can. I didn't include pop dots in the kit because I know you want to, people are trying to keep their um, cards as flat as possible for mailing, which makes sense. For your happy birthday sentiment on the right side here next to the end of the birthday, we're, again, we're going to cut to the middle. And I mean the middle as in like left and right side, like middle right here. So cut from the corner to the middle and then again from the corner to the middle. Apparently I didn't cut. All right, so you get a cute little flag. Isn't that sweet? All right, now I'm gonna put some glue on here. You'll probably wonder why I use double-sided tape sometimes and glue at other times. Um, I use double-sided tape when I'm trying to stick ribbon to things, usually, and sometimes when I want a full adherence um, quickly for gluing on layers of paper. All right, since the edge of this um, sunflower did not get glued down all the way, this is actually perfect. I'm gonna tuck the happy birthday in here um, and so it's underneath the orange ribbon and then I'm gonna lay that in place and there's a little flag here and I can still see the little center of my little spiral there. All right, and there we have it. Card number two. Isn't this card so sweet, you guys? I love it. 
I love it so much. Oh, it is just exactly what I had in had in mind. It's it's just very sweet. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. All right, on to the next card. <laughs> 